All right, we continue to follow breaking news this morning. An apartment fire in Madison Landing Apartments has damaged 20 units and left dozens of families with nowhere to live. And we're learning more about those families' situation, including the help they need and what's being made available. News 19's Mariah Wiggs is live from the scene. She was first there. Mariah, what can you tell us? Good morning, Lauren and Steve. Madison Fire and Rescue has wrapped up here at Madison Landing, but that's left dozens of families still seeking answers this morning. Uh, as you said, 20 units were damaged and 18 out of those 20 units were occupied. Chief David Bailey with Madison Fire and Rescue, he says that the origin of the fire started on the right side of the building. And speaking to some of those res residents, a lot of them are telling me the same thing. They were awakened around 12 or 1230 this morning to police officers knocking at their door telling them to evacuate and some of them were actually awake and say they smelled smoke but didn't know where it was coming from. Some of these residents are not originally from Alabama. One woman told me some of her neighbors that have family here in the immediate area were able to be picked up this morning, but others are left seeking help. And that's where the American Red Cross stepped in. They were on the scene within 10 minutes of the fire taking place. All families were provided with a debit card and money will be provided to them within the next 24 hours by the American Red Cross. We also know that one family lost some pets this morning. We heard a cat and rabbits were killed in that fire and some of the residents still remaining in the area were left waiting in the leasing office or discussing their options with the American Red Cross. And just to give you some background information on the building itself as well. We were told this is a 40 year old building. Uh, Chief Bailey says uh, management from Madison Landing says it was built in 1983 and the structure of the building again, it's one large building building 26, but it was divided up onto two sides. So several had no fire damage and they were able to get their belongings or they will be able to get their belongings later on. But uh, Chief Bailey says that it will have to go through some quote extensive renovation before anyone can move back in. Uh, like I said, I'll be here for the remainder of the morning, still gathering updated information. But for now, reporting live this morning in Madison, Mariah Wiggs, News 19.